Hello my people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for subscribing, thank you for your likes, thank you for your follow. I really appreciate you and uh, I'm here to walk through this journey together and then um, at the end of the day we can achieve one goal and that goal is becoming certified, uh, having new job opportunities and um, learning how to fly by ourselves. We don't have to tarmac anymore. We don't have to be jobless. Yes, guys. So thank you for all that have subscribed and liked and shared this YouTube channel. So today I'm here to talk about ACPI books that you need to review. You need to review these books um, as part of your study guide. Uh, you need uh, to review these books consistently and um, at the end of the day, you will achieve what you are looking for. Yes, guys. So one of these books is Clinical Laboratory uh, Certification Examination. It's called BOC Study Guide. Uh, this book is very good. Uh, it, it is made uh, for medical laboratory technician and medical laboratory scientists. It has uh, examination questions fro from blood banking, urinalysis and body fluid, chemistry, hematology, immunology, microbiology, molecular biology, and lab operations. And there are more than 500 questions and answers. This book is a good book uh, as it gives you an overview of what to look for and uh, it gives you uh, a broad uh, perspective of what to read about. Of course, some of these questions will not be repeated, so don't expect this question to be repeated, but it will give you uh, an overview of what to read for. Uh, and um, if even if you, your syllabus was not fitted or was not broad enough, this book will expound your knowledge. It will expound your mind to know exactly what to read for. Uh, I would recommend that you concentrate on um, on the question that are written M MLS only if you are doing American Society of Clinical Pathology exam. Uh, these questions like this one. Uh -huh. Yes, these ones that are written MLS only. It, it's um, okay. You can concentrate on other questions too, but. Uh, Mostly these ones are the ones that are within the topic that uh, you will need to to review or uh, the course outlines of uh, American Society Clinical Pathology course outline. Yes, and they will give you a broad uh, overview of exactly what you need to look for. Yes, so those questions are very important. Uh, uh, huh. Let me just do this a little bit. I'm still learning how to use this app. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Yes, yes, guys. So uh, this question has, uh, this book, I mean, has a lot of questions, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions that if you purpose to do a hundred questions per day, if you are given, Normally, you are given exam eligibility window of four months. Yes. So if you purpose to do a, a hundred questions per day on these questions, uh, you will definitely will pass. But the strategy here is not to read only the questions. Of course, you have to read also the notes. Um, you, what I normally advised student or candidate you see these questions are grouped into topics they are grouped into topics as you can see this one uh, it's grouped into blood group system so all the question about blood group system are contained here and then um, it, when you go to uh, other subjects of course other subjects they also have grouped according to to to, to the topics Yes, so you can read uh, a topic today and then look for all the questions related to that topic and then you answer it. Yes, 
Yes, uh, and I know most of us, especially in my country where I come from, we didn't tackle such things like um, this one is antibody panels. We didn't tackle, but uh, you can see in uh, ACPI syllabus and exam, you see such kind of uh, questions repeating themselves, uh, not necessarily in the same manner as in this book, but this book is just to give you like um, a pointer of how this exam will occur and how this exam will come. So this is one of the books that you need to review. Yes. Uh, another book that you need to review that is uh, very, very important is um, Quick Review Cards uh, for Medical Laboratory Science by Valerie Duet Polanski. Now, these are summaries of each subject. Like, uh, example, you've been out of school for so long and you don't know exactly where to start from or what to read about. This book gives you an overview of all the subjects and uh, it gives you the summarized form of all the subjects. I wouldn't advise you to focus on this book alone because it is too summarized, but it is a life safer, especially when you are blank, like uh, when you graduated 10 years ago and you don't remember, maybe you've not been practicing uh, in other fields or in other areas, probably microbiology or immunology, and you have forgotten most of the topics that you are taught, this is a good uh, start whereby it is a bit summarized and it gives you an uh, overview of all the subjects. Yes, as you can see, this is lab operations. It gives you a summary of, um, let's uh, say this one, packa packaging of biological biologics for shipping. Uh, it gives you the type of containers and uh, what they are made of, the explanation, the requirements and all that. Yes, so this is a good summary book for people who have uh, left school long time ago. Yes, so this is also one of the books that you should have in your library another book that is so uh good is uh of course clinical hematology atlas this clinical hematology atlas is um actually it's more of pictorials it gives you pictures on different hematological diseases uh this gives you an overview of uh, the the hematological diseases that we have and the picture the pictorial uh the pictorial display of those hematological diseases especially if you've not practiced hematology for long and you've forgotten so it can be able to give you the different pictures and the explanations of the nini and then it gives you the the basics the basic of making blood smears uh eh, basic about hematology yes this book can be able to give you that and then a good review book also is uh this one this is a study guide that i found it uh, very good also it's called medical technologist exam secrets study guide this one gives you tips, it gives you stories on um, people who have done it successfully, on uh, how they went through. And uh, as you can see here, uh, it highlights all the subjects of the lab, all the subjects, as you can see, let me just point it. It has chemistry, you will not see hematology, immunohematology, microbiology, parasite mycology, uh, bacteriology, virology immunology and then it has practical tests and then it has secrets uh, how to manage your time how to pace yourself um guessing guessing because uh, some of this question because scpi is um it's um mcq mcq and it's computer adaptive uh, testing that is mcq so you might find uh, people are really guessing, but this, this, this book will give you tips on how to guess 
yeah i found that funny uh practical uh how to succeed the strategies that you need to succeed how to prepare how you don't procrastinate how you test yourself yeah so that book was a good pointer for that mm. another book that you need to use is um let me see let me see okay this one this one is good urinalysis and body fluid by susan king and marjorie this book gives you pictures on um, the urine components the the urine crystals uh, the casts all the urine deposits that you need to know and the disease associated with these urine crystals and urine casts urinary components and then uh it it it's a good pointer it highlights all the body fluid the csf the urine the um, the peritoneal fluids and all that yet yeah, it's, it's a good book you can also use that in your review uh another good book that i found was this one uh medical laboratory science review by robert and her now this book is so good in that it has um highlighted testing how 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 you test yourself of course it has um categorized topics uh different topics let me show you an example uh like this one yes like this one basic hematology concept and laboratory procedures you find that these are exam questions on this topic and then it has gone ahead to give you an answer here and not just an answer but an, an explanation why it's that answer that you've chosen i right, let's look at one of the questions for example variation in red cells size observed on the peripheral smear is described as anisocytosis hypochromasia poikilocytosis or pleocytosis of course the variation in red cell size is anisocytosis so our answer is here mm, number 2 is a and then they go ahead and explain a mature erythrocyte is approximately 7 to 8 micrometers in diameter variation in normal size is denoted as uh, as uh, anisocytosis hypochromasia now it goes ahead and explains the other terms hypochromasia is uh, a term that is indicated uh, when there is increase in central pallor in the uh, erythrocyte and poikilocytosis is variation in red shapes so it goes ahead and explains the answer, the other answers So this is a book that you cannot miss to have because it also gives you a wider knowledge it, it does not just give you an answer it gives you even knowledge on the other answers so it's it's like a revision on its own so uh, what people normally do is uh, they close this part you can close off this part you test yourself with using this part you answer these questions after answering the question now you go back to the answers and then you look at the answers and you look at the explanation why it was a and not b and why it was c and not d yes so this book is very insightful mm -hmm. another good book is uh Yes another good book is um we have uh this one here blood banking and transfusion practices by Kathy now this one will highlight all your blood banking um topics and uh, i found it to be a very good book as it explains all the topics that you need to know including the antibody panels yes uh, as you can see it has the um, a lot of topics that are uh, that are incorporated in a blood bank uh, we have principles of uh, antibodies we have general principle of in blood banking we have genetic principles we have blood group system we have like every other thing we have 